Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I have another full face of first impressions videos. So essentially I try a whole bunch of new products for the first time and tell you what I think. So I have this box. Hello! And I put all the new makeup in there and when the box starts to overflow then I know that this video is overdue. So this also turns out to be really great timing because Sephora Australia is having their Black Friday sale again this year. So I'll put the code um, in the description box and somewhere on the screen with the dates. So if you've been eyeing something off on Sephora Australia online or maybe you would like to buy some gifts, now is the perfect time. All the products I've used on my face today are from Sephora Australia and I have linked them in the description to make your life a little bit easier if you want to go pick anything up. So yeah, if you want to hang out with me and a bit of a life update, try some new makeup, then keep on watching. I'm going to start with a primer. This is the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. Not a first impression. This is an old favorite, but I'm wearing it today because it's going to go with the foundation that I'm going to wear. And then just to be a little bit extra, I'm going to go in with a second primer. This is the 3CE Back to Baby Pore Velvet. Um, I'm really excited actually that Sephora Australia is now stocking some Korean products. <gasps> I forgot to tell you guys. Um, so at the end of this year, I am going to South Korea. I've been obsessed with the idea of um, going to South Korea since I went to Japan a few years ago and Adrian organized it for my birthday. I like him, he can stay. Oh, I'm so excited about this. So I really wanted to do a foundation first impressions on these, but honestly, I just can't wait. It has to be today. Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I have been loitering around the Marc Jacobs counter for, I kid you not, about two months. I'm sure the girls there are like, it's that girl again at the Marc Jacobs counter. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. The Sephora girls are actually really lovely. I'm friends with a few of them. Hi, if you're watching. There is a really wide shade range and that kind of confused me. So I bought two. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. No, I think I'll go with this one. <laughs> This is meant to be very heavy coverage, so like, ah, ah. Maybe I'll do half my face first. Have you guys seen, oh my gosh, Chloe Morello's video where she first tries this foundation? It is, quite honestly, one of my favorite things on the internet, and I love the internet. I'm gonna link it somewhere up in, the, in a card here. I don't, I don't wanna ruin it for you. I mean, the application isn't as tricky as I thought it would be, so that's a light layer on this side of the face. That is a nice everyday coverage, but I wanna see what this foundation has to offer. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Damn. <laughs> so that is this half of my face um, done and nothing on this half and damn, that is some serious coverage. If you're looking for high coverage total cover, this might be something worth checking out. And it's actually not catching on any of my dry patches as I thought it would. Let me finish off my face. I'm gonna have to report back on, on how I like that one, see how it wears and such. For concealer, yeah. Can you believe that it's taken me this long to try the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer? I feel like this had its moment and I'm always late to the bandwagon. Ooh, it's peachy. Might bounce that in with a beauty blender. So my skin isn't doing too great right now uh, because the other night I had some avocado. I'm allergic to avocado and I have no regrets at all. I mean, avocado is, you know, one of my favorite things. Can you imagine living your life without guacamole? This is the nightmare that I'm living right now. So from time to time, I'm just like, ah, I don't care. Which is terrible life advice. If you have allergies, listen to your doctor. It doesn't look at all dry under the eyes. In fact, it looks a little bit moist. So I'm definitely going to have to set it down with a powder. And on that note, I have a new loose powder. Look at this. Oh my God. You can see my entire room. <laughs> look at you being all pretty. That, you are so pretty. I'm gonna use a brush with this. Here he goes. So yeah, back to Korea. If you have any recommendations of like where to stay, what makeup I should check out, uh, what to eat, tourist destinations or landmarks or anything, let me know in the comments. That would be really helpful. When I went to Japan, you guys were super helpful. I, I am actually very pleased with this powder. It is beautiful. I'm like airbrushed. If I may say so myself. All right, you guys, I can't wait any longer. I feel like we really need to move on to the eyeshadow because it's the Marc Jacobs, is it like a holiday palette? I missed out on last year's one. I had the biggest FOMO and I've been thinking about it ever since. So when I saw this year's one, I thought, I gotta get that. Oh, yay! I do believe this is limited edition and it is still in stock um, on the Sephora site at the time of me filming. So if you wanna get this, I say getting quick. 
because I learned that lesson the hard way last year. Focus cream. Okay, I'm gonna take this one. Put that as a transition. Sometimes matte shadows can be a little bit tricky, but I feel like Marc Jacobs, he does a really good matte eyeshadow. You know, you don't even have to work. It's like, just like smush on the eye, you know? Done. I'm gonna go with this guy here. Like a, a warm, browny pink. Pinky. I'm just gonna pop that on the outer corner, do a swirls. Maybe a bit on the inner corner too. I'm gonna take this sort of rose gold shade, a shimmer. I feel like I haven't spoken to you guys or done like a super chatty video in ages. What are you guys been up to? Do you wanna see more chatty videos like this or do you prefer kind of fast, concise videos? I'm just popping that on the inner and outer corner. So I've left the center of the lid here free because I'm gonna turn that brush around and I'm gonna get this guy. Oh, get on my face. I love it. And I'm just sort of patting over the edges to blend like a little bit, but I don't wanna to blend too much because I want that to be a statement. I kind of wanna add like a bit of depth sort of in the outer and the inner corners to really get that spotlight placement so maybe I go in with purple just gonna smoke out that lower lash line with the same kind of colors that I put up here so I just finished a semester of uni I I love uni but damn man that semester was exhausting I think because I'm kind of coming to the home stretch now where I'm like I'm so close God. What else is new? Ooh, something that I think you guys might find exciting because no one in my life really thinks this is exciting, but I'm going to get some custom storage done for my makeup. I like very much consider getting a, an Ikea set because that's what I've been using for years and years. But the Ikea set sort of sag in the middle because the bottom of the drawer is very thin. Has anyone else noticed that? So I think this time I'm just I'm gonna bite the bullet. I'm gonna get the right solution. It's going to be beautiful. You know, I was thinking maybe I should do a time lapse when they're installing it so that um, maybe I'll upload it on the blog or something. I don't know, tell me if that's something that you would like to see. Oh, I love halo spotlight placements. I think they're really flattering. Kind of a little bit creepy looking, but like flattering creepy, you know? Is that duochrome? Yes, right now. So JK Rowling fans, has anyone or does anyone want to see Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them? I just saw it the other day with Adrian and you know what I reckon? I reckon the first half is kind of slow to begin with, but they're sort of setting up the story. So don't lose hope if you feel like it's a little bit slow. I thought it was a really cute movie. I enjoyed it. Although I have a soft spot for the original Harry Potter characters. So I don't feel like anything can replace them for me. So I think that's the eyeshadow done. <laughs> I think I have enough colors on my eyes. All in all, this palette for me hits it out of the park. It's beautiful, We've got the mattes, the shimmers, the warms, the cools. As always, look at a palette and determine if these are the kind of colors that you would wear. But for me, oh, I'm gonna add a little bit of liner because I wanna put on some false lashes. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. And I really like this one because it has a brush tip as opposed to a felt tip. I just find this so much easier to use. And I'm not doing any crazy wing today because having the patience for it, but I'm just gonna do a really thin line. All right, and now I'm just gonna pop on some lashes, so I'll be right back. So while my lashes are drying, I'm gonna do my brows, and I bought another shade of the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is a cult product, and I feel like I've owned just about every shade in the collection. This one is granite, which is very ashy. It's also a little bit darker than my natural hair, so I'm gonna go very lightly. This would be ideal if um, you have a naturally black brow. Thought that maybe it was going to be a little bit too dark for me, but it's not. Famous last words. <laughs> I'm going to top with some Benefit Gimme Brow. I love this stuff, especially for no makeup days, just to sort of brush through the brows for a little bit of something without any effort. Actually, my brows did get kind of dramatic. <laughs> oh, I'm into it. All right, I've popped on some mascara and now let's move on to more of the face. I've got a lot of new products. So when I was talking about um, one of those Guerlain quad bronzers in a recent video, one of you guys was like, go back and get the original, they're the best. Girl, you don't need to tell me twice. I am all over that. Love it. I knew I would. Guerlain make the best bronzers. Open. Open sesame. 
Ah, <laughs> that worked. <laughs> this is the Becca Low Light Highlight Perfecting Palette Press. Bit of contour first. Oh, it's pigmented. Dust off the excess. Oh. Becca does the best face products. Whenever I see their promo pics with the girls and they're like at the beach and they're just naturally beautiful and freckled. Oh, die for those promo shots. They're gorgeous. Little bit under the jawline as well. Why not? You know, when I was um, about 14, I went to the United States with my mother and I remember I begged her to go to Sephora with me because we didn't have Sephora in Australia at that time. Sephora was like my favorite place in the world. And now, you know, that I get a chance to work with Sephora and to collaborate with them, it's, it's honestly really surreal. It kind of makes me emotional. My 14 year old self would be very pleased. What am I, hormonal? Okay, on to highlight. I'm gonna take this one here and pop it on my cheekbones. Yes. Okay, prepare yourself for all of the pretty. Marc Jacobs Air Blushes. Ooh. Apparently this one's the best seller. Yes. Oh yeah. Let's go with this one. So these are sort of a, a highlight blush hybrid. So they give a sheer wash with some luminosity. That's the kind of formula I like. For lips, I'm gonna try out a new lip liner formula. I've never tried this one before. It's the Marc Jacobs, what are you? Pout liner. I am a lip liner addict. I want to try them all. Gotta catch them all. Pokemon. I love everything about it. I love the color, I love the texture. I love a nude lip liner, you guys. I really want to try these. These are the Tartus lip paints, is it? Yes. And there's some really cool kind of grungy colors. Like this one almost leans a little bit gray. I'm tossing between these two. I probably do a nude like this all the time, right? Okay, we're gonna go with the gray. Cool, I like it. These feel really soft and moussey going on. I think that is my face done. I really like how this came out. It's something a little bit different, but um, I had a lot of fun creating it. So everything performed really well today. But if I had to pick some top favorites, no doubt this eyeshadow palette, just top notch, really beautiful selection of shades. The mattes, the formula is just, oh, gorgeous. So definitely that would be my first pick. Also, the Tartus lip paint, it's not a super matte texture. It doesn't do that thing where it's like, it doesn't do that. Um, it's really comfortable and I've been looking for this sort of gray shade for ages. So I'm really pleased that I found that. I will have all of the products that I've used today listed and linked in the description box. So if you wanna pick up anything from uh, Sephora Australia Black Friday sale, you can do that. There is also the code. Uh, yeah, happy shopping. Let me know in the comment section, what is some of the makeup that you've discovered recently? Um, what's going on in your life right now? Uh, I would love to chat to you. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye. I've literally <laughs> glued this in a corner down five times and it just won't stay down. Stay. Have I got any lipstick on my teeth? <laughs>